by Leo. Some sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general tarot card reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest, Leo. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Leo. Leo, welcome to Remedies Alchemy and Tarot. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive tarot card reader. I do look at the sun placement, the moon placement, and other planetary placements to get an idea of the energy that is surrounding you at this time. But first and foremost, I do rely on my intuition. It, oh my gosh, we just have all kinds of cards wanting to fall out for you. Look at that. What, what a mixed bag this week. You are tears of happiness, tears of joy, tears from K. What is, what, what's, two more cards for the Leo. Thank you. Okay. So I am an intuitive tarot card reader. Um, it is my intention that during these tarot card readings that you practice using your intuition as well. I think that tarot cards, um, the more we watch, the more we become familiar with the tarot cards the more that they speak to us. And so, you know, by watching on a regular basis, you're able to familiarize yourself with um, the different cards and what they are meaning to you at this point, at this stage in your life. And look at that, Leo, the foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Ten of Cups, which is the happily ever after, the emotional, the spiritual fulfillment that we are seeking. And that is driven or forced by the devil card. And the devil in the tarot can represent the zodiac sign of Capricorn. But maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn or you are very driven to achieve the emotional and spiritual fulfillment that you are seeking at this time. And let's see how that plays in to the rest of your cards this week, Leo. In your professional life, in your public life, and this would be your career, education, business, money, finance, work, we start off with the Eight of Cups, leaving behind what is no longer serving us. And as we leave that behind, the sky is the limit. There is no limit to what you can achieve. And here again, we show you cutting ties with the past, leaving the past behind you. And because you're cutting those ties, because you're leaving behind what is no longer serving you, you're finding the clarity that you need to heal, as is indicated by the wounded soldier. You know, Leo, you are quite the diplomat. Without you, there is a project that would not have been completed. There is a project that would not achieve the level of success. It was all hinged or all, uh, all because of you. It hinged on your skill set, on your ability to uh, be the diplomat, to find that uh, peaceful ground, to um, be the go-between, to get everything lined up. It would have not moved forward without you. 
there are will not move forward without you. There are obstacles. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Leo. Leo, there are obstacles and there are logistics that only you have the ability to work out. It's like you're the one with the know-how to overcome these obstacles, um, to set the logistics into place, to get this project off the ground, to make this project a success. You're the one that's going to be able to heal. You're the one that's going to be able to smooth things over and to uh, be able to seal the deal. You are the shining star. You are, yeah, you, you're the star of this show. You are the light that is bringing this project to life. You will be well rewarded as a result. As a result, you're going to be well rewarded. And I think that the reward that you're looking for is more of this, I was able to do that. It's like just the confidence from knowing that we were able to be successful. Just the um, f emotional fulfillment of knowing that we were able to accomplish what it is that we were that we put our mind to, that we put our energy into. I do believe that there is a financial reward coming in for you, but that financial reward is secondary to this being able to accomplish. And I think that you're going to be able to use this to uh, springboard yourself into bigger and better adventures or bigger and better projects. And that is where you're seeing that value. That is where you're seeing that reward. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Leo. And Leo, in your private life, and this would be your home life, your family, your friends, and even your love life. We start off with the temperance card. And the temperance card, we can see here, there is someone that is practicing alchemy. And alchemy is the transformation of one thing into another. Using something, something, changing the intention of use, followed by the Ten of Swords. And this Ten of Swords is really the ending but it's endings are beginnings and beginnings are endings. In order for something to begin, something must end. But here I see something that has been painful, something that has been hurtful, something that has been stressful coming to an end. And as a result, you are gaining wisdom as is indicated here by the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is the gift of wisdom. It's not the knowledge. This is indicating that you have all of the knowledge, that you have all of the information, but you've been unable to apply that. You've been unable to take action on that. But now you are granted the gift of wisdom where we can act on the knowledge that we have. Indicated, followed by the lover's card. Look at these beautiful, wonderful cards here. You know, Leo, you are the star of your life. And it's important that you let your light shine. Those around you do deeply appreciate all of the little things that you do for them. People see you as selfless. And because of this, 
someone very close to you is going to show you their appreciation. And they're going to show you their appreciation with a gift or a token of gratitude or a token of appreciation. And you know what? Don't be surprised if this generous gift brings tears of joy to your eyes. It, it, it's something, it's a gift that is well thought out and is going to be deeply appreciated by you and it is going to move you. Perhaps you, you do not realize how deeply appreciated you are. And this gift is going to demonstrate that. And so these are happy tears that you're going to be experiencing, Leo. Messages from Spirit. We start off with the five, the five Hierophant, the five card in the tarot, which is the Hierophant card. And again, that Hierophant speaks to wisdom, speaks to higher knowledge, but it's the higher knowledge that involves the spiritual. The key. Followed, yeah, there we have two fives, three fives. Three fives. Was there any other fives here? And so that's what five. Five, that's why I was saying five. Spirit wants me to tell you that fives in the tarot represent motion, action, adventure, expansion, travel, and an unpredictability. There is an unpredictability here, a, a chaos. And this chaos and this perceived lack are for your higher good. It's you are going to be glad that you experienced the being locked out, the door not being opened, the chaos, it's almost like you, you're going to find that you were being divinely protected. And so sometimes when we are feeling lack, when we're feeling chaotic, when we're feeling like we've missed out, we come to find out that we're glad we missed out because we're not going to be able, or we're not going to. Okay. Let me think how. Thank you, Spirit. It's almost like when we miss the bus and we're running late for work. And we have the chaos and we have the confusion and we're like, oh, we're really going to get it now. We're really going to get fired now. I can't be late another time. Uh, the traffic was bad, whatever. But we've missed the bus. We've missed the opportunity. And we catch the next bus. But when we're on that next bus, we run into someone Maybe we run into an old friend. Um, maybe we run into a new friend. Maybe we run into a new love. But we run into a new opportunity that would not have been available to us had we not missed the bus. That's what that is all about. And so this missed 
opportunity, this lack, this chaos, this door being closed is a gift, is a blessing that is going to bring in wealth. And so whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, you are experiencing it so that the legacy wealth, so the blessings can come in. And so Source is speaking to us constantly. And Source is either bringing us a lesson or they're bringing, Spirit is bringing a blessing. Many times the lesson comes first and the blessing comes second. You are experiencing a lesson for the blessing. You are going to be happy that you've missed this chance or missed this opportunity. It was not meant for you. The only thing that this lesson is for is for your higher good, is for you to connect deeper with your intuition, for you to connect deeper with spirit. You are going to be put in a situation where you feel pressure to do what you do not want to do. You're going to be put in a situation where you're feeling pressure to be doing something that you are uncomfortable with. And Source is saying, Source is reconfirming, do not do anything that you are not comfortable with. Trust Spirit. Trust source, trust your intuition. If you are uncomfortable, do not give in to the pressure that others are going to be put on, be putting on you, or the situation is going to be putting on you. This is your lesson to trust source and not succumb to pressure. Do not agree to anything that you are not comfortable with. 